Welcome! Today I got something from Vera again. And it is the Vera Cyclope Soccer Drench set. It is model number 8100SA7. Let's open the box. First thing you see is the Vera logo on the pouch with a really nice model of the ranch itself. I really like the packaging of Vera with the retractable loop and matte black finish. It suits the tool. And having the tool itself on the pouch is great, so you can't mistake them if you have more than one. Seeing it at a store, it seems to be small. It is even featured on the box as a feature of the product. And in comparison to my Bats and Ranch sets, it seems to be half the size, although the width is almost the same. But I can tell you, the weight difference is also huge. Normally I would show you the contents of the back side of the box, but this time I have a different approach. On the bottom you find all the bits neatly stacked inside the pouch, sadly without labeling. And here they are in the sizes Philips 1, 2 and 3. Positive drive 1 and 2, the hex sizes are 3, 4, 5 and 6 mm. The bits are all laser etched, matte finished and here is Vera's hex plus geometry that all tools nowadays have. And last but not least, Torx 10, 15, 20, 25, 27 and 30. Moving on with the sockets, all are clearly labeled in the sizes 5 to 13 with a nice stitching on them. Let's have a closer look at the sockets. They're nicely matte finished with rounded corners on the edge, have laser etched the size, the Vera logo, the type and marked it as a non-impact socket. They're color coded and have a nice knoll on them so you can use them already by itself. Color coding is a nice idea, but why can't they keep the color coding constant through their product lines? What is it good for when you have different colors on different tools, even though it's the same size? Did they simply change it over time? But let's move on with the rest. Vera also includes a small pivoting extension bar in the same finish and features as the sockets. The long extension bar has a plastic handle that turns and also laser etched markings and a knurl on it. But here comes the bummer. Their bit holder is nicely finished and seems to be high quality as the rest. I really like the embossed Vera logo on it. But why on earth do I have to unlock it first to insert the bit? Why? No one does that. My headset bit holder works without unlocking it. And I know that Vera knows how to do it because their Kraftform compact handle works just like a regular bit holder should work. So there's no excuse for it. You can also insert your bit even though it's already locked. Well, at least it is a snug fit. But let's focus now on the main part of this ratchet set, the ratchet itself. I've purchased the version with a push through quarter inch square because of the compact design, although the height is the only measurement that is noticeably shrunk in comparison with my Betzer ratchet. The matte finish is well done like on all Vera tools I've seen so far. The Vera logo, product type and number as well as the ordering number and indication arrows are laser etched on it. I like the embossed details of a typical Vera screwdriver handle on it. It's a really nice touch. In use, I've never missed the switch lever. Normally you only tighten or loosen screws while working and do not the combination of both and if so only as an exception. Let's find out if the fine tooth design with a claimed 4.7 degrees makes a noticeable difference when in use. And to do so I've put a knot in my vise and try to feel how the ratchet behaves. There's a noticeable gap before you feel one tooth engaging. 
To measure it, I try to hold the set square accurately above it. I know this is not exact, but gives a good indication how much exaggeration by the manufacturers used compared to the reality of use. If you need that accurate spanners and tight spaces, you might want to rethink the design. Let's put a screw on the vise and compare it with my Batsa ratchet. As you can see, both ratchets behave very similar in reality despite the 4.7 degree marketing gag of Vera. Both ratchets engage the next tooth at about 9-ish degrees. So in reality, tooth count doesn't really matter. The slop does, or in this case, the accuracy of the wrench. Looking at the set, what is the verdict? Well, it has some drawbacks and Vera claims things that are not really there when in use. But this set is compact, lightweight and has a really nice pouch ideal for your glove box, a slender tool bag or even tool belt. At this price point of currently 66 euro here in Germany it is a steal despite the fact that it is not made in Germany but in the Czech Republic. I would buy it again. And that wraps it up for today.